Hey everyone, I finished watching the next Wild Force episode, Unfinished Business. Um, and, like, I wasn't quite ready to talk about the episode yet. I was going to wait a while, but I figured I'd do it now, because recent Power Rangers news has gotten me feeling really bad. I wanted to talk about something nice. Uh, on Twitter, they announced that Power Rangers Hasbro was... Uh, teaming up with Funko to produce some new Power Ranger Funko Pops. But they're not just normal Funko Pops. They're digital NFT Funko Pops that you have to buy NFT packs for the chance to get one of the actual physical figurines. Yeah. So that sucks. Um... I don't know what else to say about that. It, it sucks really bad. Like, I don't get it. Funko's not going to make any extra money by making these things so rare and exclusive. Or actually, by doing it as NFTs, they will. Because a ton of stupid people are going to gamble on it, not win anything. And they probably won't care. I've been looking around Twitter, and there's tons of people who, for some reason, are really happy about this. It's really weird. I don't quite get what's going on in these people's minds. They're just like so optimistic and happy that they have to gamble away a bunch of money so that they have the chance to get a figure when the figure could just be released in stores, like not limited at all, whatever. Anyway, uh, moving on to the actual point of the video, talking about uh, the Wild Force episode, Unfinished Business. So it starts off, there's these three mysterious beams of light that shoot down from the sky. And they hit something on the ground, and then the camera moves over to reveal that the target is the wolf mask. Zanaku, or Merrick wolf mask thing that turned him into Zanaku. Wow. Is that going to play a part in the episode? No, not really. <laughs> or, well, the wolf mask, I guess, turns into Zanaku. Okay, that's weird. And the other weird thing, later on, or I'll talk about it when I get to it. Uh, let's see, so we see Merrick, he's down at the... Uh, little inn restaurant thing. What is that place supposed to be anyway? Like it really looks like it's supposed to be a bar, but then they weren't allowed to show beer or something, or imply that it was a bar, so they changed it, and so now it's just kind of some jack of all trades building. Whatever. He's, pla he's practicing his pool skills on the pool table. The owner dude comes over, whose name I can't remember. I was on Ranger Wiki earlier, and the actor who played him was J.D. Lee, I think. Oh, which is close to J.D. Lee's, who is the editor of G-Fan, the Godzilla fanzine. Huh, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, he shows Merrick how to do this one weird trick where he hits the, the pool ball, or billiard ball i don't know i don't know terminology anyway it like bounces rolls over in front of merrick and then bounces again it's a cool trick that i don't think is practical in real life but uh whatever it makes an impression on merrick and so then they start talking about uh his past and playing pool but then the windows shoot open the wind blows merrick senses something and disappears away to go see what's going on and I remembered back to when Zanaku was first separated from Merrick, and Merrick is his own person. He's going off on his own. The Rangers are like, where are you going? And Merrick says, wherever the wind takes me. And it sounds like a dumb line, but quite literally, that's what he's doing here. <laughs> so, let's see. Merrick uh, goes down into the forest, and he hears something. There's a flute playing. It's familiar. So he looks around, and then he sees this tunnel, and at the end of the other side of the tunnel is Zenaku playing the flute. And we see Zenaku's eyes glowing. It's a really cool shot. Uh, let's see. It's from Gow Ranger, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember now. In Wild Force, it's still pretty easy to tell when it's the Japanese footage to when it's the American footage. There are a few times in Power Rangers where they do a really good job of blending the two, and you really can't tell. Like, uh, in SPD, I think they did a really good job of blending uh, the two uh, styles together. Anyway, uh, back to this. Let's see. 
Oh yeah, we cut to Shayla. Shayla contacts the Rangers, and then the Rangers rush to find Merrick and Zanaku in battle with each other. The Rangers have no idea what's going on. Uh, let's see, they go to help Merrick, and then Merrick's like, No, I have to fight him on my own. This is my fight. And so then, let's see. Excuse me. Zanaku corners Merrick and explains uh, why he's here. Uh, when Merrick destroyed the wolf mask, it freed Zanaku's spirit, and now he's his own. But he wants to rejoin with Merrick because, um, hmm. Zanaku says that on his own, he's stronger. So why does he want to rejoin with Merrick? Is this like a Namekian fusion thing, like from Dragon Ball, where Piccolo would fuse with one of the other Namekians? Like, it wasn't exactly a fusion, because... Like, he would gain their abilities and their strength, but his personality and, like, uh, demeanor would still be the dominant one. He'd still look like himself. Although there are, like, fan theories I've heard where, like, when he fuses with the other Namekians, they influence him or something. I can't remember. I'm guessing it's probably something like that. It also kind of reminds me of Venom and Spider-Man. Uh, let's see. Venom... Uh, dang, what's the word? I keep wanting to say fused, but that's not quite combined with, I don't know, joined with, whatever. Venom was ooze that gets on Peter, and at first Peter thinks it's just a suit that he can control with his mind, but then he finds out that it's actually influencing his mind, and it's not just a suit, it's its own uh, being, it's an alien. And so, and he realizes that, uh, when it's influencing him, it's influencing him to react to things with more violence, and he want he doesn't want that, so he tries to get rid of it. He finds out that it's uh, averse to loud noises. He goes and uh, what was it? He goes into a church or something, and the bells are ringing. That causes the Venom symbiote to uncombine with Peter. And then it finds Eddie Brock. It fuses with him, and it's happy fused with him, but it's also mad because it was rejected by Peter and wants to kill Peter. And that's kind of what's going on with Zanaku. He's been, he feels like he's been rejected from Merrick, that he's been betrayed in some way, and he doesn't like that. So now he wants to kill Merrick because um, it's easier to combine with him? Yeah, it's really weird. Uh, like, Zanaku doesn't seem to want to keep Merrick's body intact. Like, he raises his sword thing, he's about to whack him right in the face with it before Alyssa uh, gets him out of the way. So, does Merrick not need to be intact for Zanaku to, like, recombine with him or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> so then, um, boop, boop, boop. okay, Merrick and uh, Alyssa wash up on this other side of the beach. Alyssa pushes him into the water. Was there supposed to be water there? It looked like they were in the quarry where there's, like, it's a pretty big body of water, it's not, whatever. Anyway, uh, they get out on the other side, and Merrick's like, Why did you help me? This was my battle, again. And so then... Oh yeah, so then he goes back to fight Zanaku, the other rangers are fighting Zanaku, Merrick jumps in, he starts fighting with them, and then suddenly they all disappear, and the rangers are like, Whoa, what, what's going on? And... So then the rangers back up on the Animarium, and they're like, yeah, they just disappeared. It was really weird. And then so then we see later that night, out in the woods, Merrick has a little campfire, and Zanaku shows up to start fighting with him again. And then, let's see. Oh, yeah, they just start fighting, and that's all I wrote in my notes. So then, oh, man, my notes keep jumping around. What is this? This is weird. I had to take notes on a different phone this time. Because my other phone's uh, battery was low. Man, this is weird. It keeps... I don't know where I am. What's going on? Okay, there I am. Okay, so up on the Animarium, the Wolf Zord asks the rangers for help. Kind of. Like, it's howling weird. And Cole tells them that uh, it wants us to follow it. So then it leads them... To Merrick, and, uh, let's see, Merrick's still reluctant to help, but eventually they convince Merrick to let them join him, and then together they're able to defeat Zanaku, but then Zanaku grows with his own power. Toxica and Jindrax don't show up in this episode. Um, Merrick's Zords show up to fight with Zanaku, 
And this is kind of a cool scene to see these the Zords individual. They're not all combined into a Megazord. But then Merrick's like, the Rangers showed me that we need teamwork to win. So then all the Zords combine into the uh, the Predazord or whatever it's called. Whoops, got my notes. Okay, where am I? Okay, there it is. So then the Rangers call their Megazord. They're fighting with Zanaku. They're losing, but then Merrick remembers uh, that pool move from earlier. So he decides to try that with the Armadillo Zord. And the move works. They break off Zanaku's horn, and then he's defeated for good. Then the Rangers all invite Zanaku to join them for a victory celebration, but then he leaves to finish that pool game from the uh, beginning of the episode, which is a neat little uh, way to wrap things up. So. This is a really good episode. It's cool to see Zanaku back, although it's also kind of unfortunate that he's kind of relegated to just a Monster of the Day character. He doesn't have any of the subtleties or nuances or motivation or character that made the original Zanaku a really interesting and fascinating character. Here, he's just a random monster. The only kind of like uh, interesting thing about him is he wants to rejoin with Merrick, although he also wants to kill Merrick. Or at the very least, he's not afraid to severely wound Merrick, the guy he wants to combine with. Also, if he's stronger on his own, why does he want to combine with Merrick again? I don't know, whatever. Um, that's all I wrote in the the anal the analytic analytical part of the thing. Um, hmm, I don't think of more stuff to talk about. Oh yeah, one of the weird things. I went to Ranger Wiki to look up trivia for this episode, and uh, there was some kind of interesting trivia. There's one thing I noticed. When uh, Merrick has his old campfire, he's not wearing that howling wolf jacket, but and then he morphs, and then later on he demorphs, and then he has the jacket again. Huh. That's weird. I don't know why they even bothered taking it off, because there's like hardly any times in the show where he takes it off. There are a few times, yeah, but... It's just weird that they created like a like a continuity error themselves by doing that. That was weird. Um hmm. Oh yeah, now I remember one of the things I was thinking about and this was the thing back in the like Zanaku arc that I thought was really weird was to break Zanaku's control over Merrick, they had to destroy the Predazord. Yeah, not the wolf mask, the Predazord. The wolf mask is kind of just brushed off to the side. It's not treated as being that important. Like, even when it's, like, broken, there's just a quick shot of it, and then it floats right by. And then in this episode, they act like the wolf mask was the whole key to Zanaku and Merrick being combined. Instead of... Or... Well, the Predazord... It never made sense to me. And I, apparently that was a thing in the Japanese version, too, in Gow Ranger, that they had to, like, uh, separate the Predazord parts or something. I don't remember. Very weird. I don't know why that was... If that was a thing in the Japanese version, why did they keep it over here? They could have just cut it and made the focus destroy the wolf mask. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, there's a weird thing on Ranger Wiki where it says that uh, when Merrick fires his, like, special armadillo pool thing at Zanaku. He says, you're finished, but he says it wrong, and on Ranger Wiki, it it, it spells it, like, finished. Which, uh, I've watched the episode, and he says, you're finished. I don't know where this finished thing is coming from. Like, Merrick has a extremely light lisp, I guess, so maybe you could hear it come out a little different, but I don't know. In context, it sounds like finished. I'm wondering how, like, how messed up is somebody to, like, think about that particular line enough to go on Ranger Wiki and add that to the trivia. It reminds me of, and I think this is still there, in the Forever Red section on Ranger Wiki, in the trivia, it says that, or maybe it's in errors, I don't know, when TJ says Turbo Lightning Sword, he mispronounces Sword as Zord, which I've seen Forever Red lots of times, and, like, kind of? 
it's more like just he's slurring his words together because he's yelling turbo lightning sword like if you're saying sword really fast it can come out as zord but that episode has no zords in it so why would he come why would he confuse sword with zord when there's no zords in that whole episode seems like it's a very weird slip to make and it's just an extremely pedantic thing to bother going on to ranger wiki and typing in okay anyway that's about all i want to talk about with this episode i can't really think of a whole lot else to say about it um uh still bummed about freaking nfts though that really sucks um uh, okay see ya